Hey everyone, Trey me from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show how quick and easily Axiom Cyber can remotely acquire from Linux endpoints. I've already got process open, so we'll go ahead and navigate to Evidence Sources. We'll go ahead and navigate to Remote Computer, and we've got our agents dashboard, but I'm gonna go ahead for today and create a new agent. We can create an agent ID. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and simply put in Dante Linux. And operating system, we want to drop down and select Linux. Now for Axiom Cyber, today we'll be collecting from a Ubuntu endpoint running version 20.04.3. We collect from popular Linux distributions such as Red Hat Linux 8, CentOS 8, Amazon Linux 2, and Ubuntu. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate down to connectivity details and put in my information here. So now I'll be using port 4321. I'm going to leave reconnect, delay, and disconnect keep alive as is. And go ahead and hit create agent. Now that we've created our Linux agent, let's go ahead and deploy it to our endpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the remote computer IP address. For today, I'm just gonna use the user account, but you can absolutely use your admin accounts that you have set up on your endpoints. And where you want the agent to reside on that endpoint. Next, I'll hit deploy. Now that we've deployed the agent, let's go ahead and connect to it. As you can see, we have our agent online and we can go ahead, if we want, we can enable searching and filtering in the file browser or we can simply just go ahead and select go to evidence sources. As you can see, we are connected to Dante's Ubuntu instance of this virtual machine. I'm going to go simply select targeted locations and we've updated targeted locations to include some of our new Linux artifacts that we released earlier this year. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the past history, recent files, SSH files, startup items, system files, system logs. I'll simply select next. And if we wanted to, we can navigate into the files and drives and select any other files that we may want. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at the targeted locations list. Here you can see we've wrapped up our downloads for our evidence. Next, I'll go ahead and hit next. We'll delete the agent from the endpoint. Now we're just going to archive and hash those evidence items before we go ahead and finish processing within Axiom Cyber Process. We'll add two evidence sources. And just as we normally would, we'd walk through and finish up our processing details before simply hitting Analyze Evidence. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like within Axiom Examine. Here you can see we have Dante's remotely acquired files and we can simply go from case dashboard onto the artifact view and we have things such as some pictures, here's the bash history that we can select and once again start seeing some of the different commands that were being run from terminal. We can see that there were some Chrome OS downloads, we have recent files that were being accessed, we have some system logs as well that could be important so we can see what's going on within the system. So make sure you update to Axiom Cyber version 5.8, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a great day.